You know, buddy, you make a pretty good umbrella, you know that? Want to be friends? <coughs> Sounds good to me. Be sure to check out Agile's Geeks for your figures and collectibles. This video and YouTube channel is rated PG-13, so that means this channel is not for anyone under the age of 13. So what is going on, my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil 18 here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Bandai Tamashii Nations, SH Monster Arts, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, Mothra, and Rodan 2-pack. So let's get into it right away and take a quick look. At the box. So we do get a pretty cool collector friendly style box for this two pack here. So on the front of the box here on the top does see Monsterverse, Godzilla King of the Monsters. Then on the center of the box here on each side we do get an image of each figure and I do like how it's split right down the middle. I thought that looked pretty cool. Then the bottom here says SH Monster Arts, Mothra and Rodan 2019. We do get the Tamashi Nations quality sticker, Tamashi Nations and Bandai and a bunch of other stuff as well. And then the bottom of the box here, we do get the barcode and Blubbity Plus, so who cares about? And then we do get a couple tiny images of the figures on the one side here. We do get some more tiny images of the figures on the other side here. Not too much going on there, but in the back there, we do have some pretty cool poses you can get the figures into. And I'm not sure if these are accessories, so I don't know if they are included with accessories, but anyway, that is the packaging. Let's get this two-pack open and take a closer look at both these Godzilla monsters. And I think these versions are going to be much better than NECA's versions. Alrighty, taking a closer detailed look and we'll take a look at Mothra first. I'm just going to take Rodan off camera so it doesn't mess up the focusing. So Mothra here, I think turned out really nice. The paintwork looks beautiful on the figure, just like the NECA one as well. This one seems maybe a little more vibrant. I will do a comparison. Uh, shortly after this, but I, I love the way the wings look on the figure there. Even the, the, the body here, the thorax, whatever, it, it has some nice like sculpted texture to it as well. And even on the underbelly, let me get her off the stand here. Come on, Mothra. Even the underbelly, you can see it's like a lighter orange compared to the top where it's more like a brown. And then up here, you can see like her, uh, her antennas, which look pretty cool. And I love that that blue or teal that they used for her eyes. Very nice looking. My one issue with Mothra though, just like with NECA, nothing broke on me, but I feel like if I try to move any of her joints, they're gonna break off, man. So I'm not even gonna bother. They're in fine positions anyway, so that is one thing you do have to be careful with. If you wanna try to heat them up to soften them up and get them unstuck, that is your choice. I believe they're on ball pegs, but I'm not even gonna risk it because all the legs pretty much broke off my NECA one, and same thing will probably happen with this one as well. So that is one issue right off the bat uh, with this Mothra. But besides that, everything else looks really nice from the, the paint and sculpt detail. There's just that issue with the legs. All, all of them stuck, so you can't use uh, the, the leg articulation. But you can use the uh, thorax or torso articulation here, which is pretty cool, and of course the wings but the paintwork is nice and crisp throughout the wings there man I really dig the way that looks and I always like the way how it looks up here it looks like some eyes right there to throw off her prey or enemies so that is Mothra now let's take a closer look at the star of the pack here which is Rodan and like I said Rodan is definitely the star of this two pack here his articulation actually surprised the hell out of me. I was surprised I can get him in a, in a pose like that, like he's going to claw at, 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 at an opponent or an enemy uh, with his legs right there. That is such a cool pose. That is probably how I'll have him posed on my shelf. But Rodan is one of my favorite Godzilla characters since I was a kid. And uh, I, I really dig the way he looked in the movie. And I think Tamashii Nations did a sick job with the figure, man. This, this, I, personally, I think this takes a dump all over Neko's version. The one thing I like about Neko's though is you can see like the burning uh, part to the bottom of his wings, which I will do a comparison right after this though, but I love the sculpted texture to his wings and his skin. I mean, that just looks so damn dope. They added that black shading throughout that maroon burgundy type color and it just looks beautiful. Really nice job on Rodan there. Even his tail looks better than the uh, 
the, the NECA one, but I love the way the back looks too. Very cool looking. Even on the underside here, very nice sculpted texture to the wings. You can see where his hands are on the wings right there. The legs look dope. His claws are pretty sharp, so be care careful of that. Even on like the belly and the chest right there, very nice uh, sculpt and paint detail on the tail and everything. And then the neck and the head looks dope too. And I like how, the, how they did his beak, how it's more black. And it is very sharp, so be careful of that. The horns look pretty cool, and I really dig the way the eyes look. And he does have an articulated jaw, and they did a nice job on the tongue as well. But really, really cool Rodan figure. If you want a, do if you want a dope Godzilla King of the Monsters movie version Rodan, this is definitely the route to go but overall for the detail between the two figures i think tamashi nations did a dope job with both of them especially rodan man this rodan figure is so damn cool i i, I was going to cancel this pre-order but i'm glad i didn't because rodan made it all worth it mothra to me is eh the detail's fine on the figure it's just so stuck like joints is an issue so let me show you guys a quick side-by-side -side comparison with the NECA versions of these figures. Alright, so now for some quick side-by-side -side comparisons. We'll do Mothra first, then we'll move over to Rodan here. So on the left, we do have the NECA version. On the right here, we have the SH Figure Arts version. One thing I like about NECA, though, they did give us some cool bases with the stands there. But I'm not sure which one's more accurate. They both look fine to me, the Mothra figures. So I feel like it's a win-win situation with either figure it's it they're both awesome and the paintwork on them both turned out great one thing i do like about nickas though is they did use like a translucent plastic for the wings which is pretty cool but the paint is more vibrant on uh, the sh figure arts one and i'm not sure which one's more accurate between the colors of the body i want to say NECA is because they usually go towards accuracy more compared to sh uh, monster arts i've been saying figure arts by accident but uh but tamashi nations usually isn't always uh entirely accurate when it comes to figures all the arms broke on this one this one i know they will break if i try to articulate them but i feel like this one has better wingspan as well you can get mothra's wings all the way up why figure arts you can only get mothra's wings up about that much which kind of sucks they do flap down pretty good and these joints are much tighter. The one on the NECA one is loose, so they do fall down. See what I mean? Like, it can't hold certain poses, so I don't run into that issue uh, with the Monster Arts version. But like I said, they're both uh, great Mothra figures, and it's a pretty much a win-win situation between the two figures. Now let's take a quick side-by-side -side comparison look of the Rodan figures. And here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the NECA Rodan, and then we do have the SH Monster Arts Rodan. And to me, uh, hands down, I I'm choosing the SH Monster Arts, even though I'm not sure which one's more accurate. One thing I do like more about NECA's is the, the, whoops, the burning part on the bottom part of the wings right there, while uh, Monster Arts does not have that. It seems like it went more towards Rodan's actual colors. But you see NECA's is more like brown instead of maroon. And I could have sworn Rodan was more maroon. I know he is maroon in the original movies. I'm, I'm not sure if he was in the newer movie though. I'm pretty sure he was. But like I said, I do like the, the burning effect to the bottom of this Rodan's wings. But I did have a break on this Rodan which was up here by the wing where it articulates. So that does kind of suck. And just the articulation overall is far more superior on the SH Monster Arts one and I prefer the way the head sculpt looks on this one much more compared to this one here. This one you can't really see his f like the, I don't know how to describe it. You can't really see the face too much but on Monster Arts you can see it clearly. I don't know if that makes sense. I feel like his face is too dark to notice like the details on it. You know what I mean? But this version of Rodan, I feel like, is when Rodan first came out of the volcano, and I feel like this one's more towards the end of the movie version, Rodan. I don't know, I, I, I could be wrong. I, I just, I like the, the Monster Arts one a lot more. The articulation is far more superior. The, superior. the wingspan, or the wing articulation, seems to be about the same with uh, both of them here. 
me check this one as well. I hate that damn stand. Actually, you might be able to get a little more wing wing articulation out of uh, the 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 neck of one here. I don't know. They could be just about the same, but this one has no like torso articulation, no knee or uh, or foot articulation why this one does here. But personally, for me, I, I'll definitely choose the Monstars over the neck of one any day when it comes to the. 2019 Godzilla movie Rodan figures, but anyway, there's some side-by-side -side comparisons. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review, shall we? Moving on to the accessories, we don't get any accessories included with these figures besides a couple of stands. So on the right side, we do have a stand for Mothra. On the left side, we do have a stand for Rodan. As you can see, you just rest Rodan's body on here, or you could use the clamp for when you have him in that 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 arch type pose like when he's trying to claw at an opponent so you could use that for that if you just have him in a regular flying pose you could use this and you just have to bounce him out on it properly and he'll just stand on there like that mothra you clip the middle of her thorax or tor torso right here as you can see all you do is that and there you go you have mothra on her stand so very easy to get these figurines on their stands but anyway that's all the accessories included with this set well, let's keep moving on with the rest of the review shall we now for the measurements of Mothra and Rodan so for Mothra's wingspan let's see here looks like it's a little bit over 10 inches wide and each wing is about five inches and then the length of Mothra's body from head to the butt there's a little over one and a half inches there and for Rodan here for his wingspan see if I can fit it all in frame I don't really think I can it's about 13 inches from one side of the wing to the other the length of just one wing is just shy of seven inches and then from head to tail he's about five inches so definitely good for six inch scale uh, Monsterverse SH Monster Arts figures. And then here they are compared to the Mezco Toys Skull Island King Kong and the SH Monster Arts Godzilla King of the Monsters Godzilla. And I think both Mothra and Rodan scale perfectly with both these figures here. And then here they are compared to the NECA Godzilla King of the Monsters Mothra and Rodan, even though I showed you a side by side comparison of these figures before. <laughs> And then here they are compared to the Star Wars Black Series Dewback with the Sand Trooper. And then here they are compared to the SH Figure Arts Awakened Warrior Super Saiyan Goku and the Mezco 112 Deadpool. Anyway, there's some quick comparisons. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review. So now for the articulation, and we'll take a look at Mothra's movement first, and we'll go over Rodanian's articulation. It sounds like some place back in old roman times the articulation here for mothra as i mentioned there is an issue with the legs being stuck all the legs or arms are supposed to be articulated the two back legs and the two front ones the, the small ones are not supposed to be articulated but like i said they're all stuck on me man and i believe they're just ball pegs i don't want to move them because i know they're going to break they're going to break just like how my NECA mothra's legs broke on me i think only one of them did not break on my NECA Mothra. And then her uh, torso or thorax does have a ball peg right there. So you can move that all around. You can move it forward and then move it back for flying poses and stuff like that. So pretty cool that they added articulation in there. And all the wings are connected with ball pegs. So you can move them all around, up and down, side to side. And then same with the bigger wings up and down side to side swivel and you can just move them all around I wish her wings did go up a little bit more like how the NECA one does but I mean you can get them up uh, enough you know what I mean so the articulation on Mothra I mean I don't know what else they could have added in but like I said there is that issue with all the legs being stuck and that definitely is not good because they're gonna break off if I try to move them and there really isn't looseness with these joints as you saw this one fell down but the the NECA Mothra I did have looseness with her wings so that was an issue with that one that I am not experiencing with the SH Monster Arts one now for Rodan here this this dude is is 
loaded with a pretty good amount of articulation. I was caught by surprise at how well his movement is. So we do have two joints at the neck, I believe. So we do have one at the lower neck that connects into the torso, into the torso and I believe it's a barbell type joint. Yeah, it is. So you can get some really nice movement out of that joint right there. Up, down, pivot, swivel, and you can just move it all around. And then up at the head, you do get some articulation there as well. So you can move that all around, up for good flight poses, and then down for when he's doing that, that foot claw pose and can get very nice pivot out of it as well. And then it also does swivel at both the joints there. And of course, his mouth is on a hinge and you can only get it to hinge open about that much, which is pretty good actually. And then we do get, what is it, one, two joints at the torso. So you can move them all the way back. So for flight poses right there. And then when he's doing that foot claw pose, you can crunch the joint in there and move the head down as well. And I love that you could do that with Rodan. That's so awesome. Then you do get very nice pivot out of those joints. And they also do swivel. Well, this one swivels much better than the upper torso joint right there. And then the tail is also articulated. So it can hinge up and down. It can also pivot and swivel a little bit as well. And I do like how the tail is also articulated. Then the legs here, we have a joint at the hip, around where the knee is, and then at the ankles. And they're all ball pegs, I believe. So you do have the ball peg at the hip there. You can go up and down, pivot and swivel. Then you do have it at the knee. And it only hinges up and down a tiny bit. It can actually pivot a little bit and it can swivel. That's a, a minor issue I do have with Rodan. Sometimes the ankle joints pop off. I just got to pop them right back in. But those joints can swivel. They can hinge up about that much. Hinge down about that much. And they do get pivot out of it. And there it goes popping off again. But like I said, I love that they did that so you could do this pose right here. That's so damn awesome, man. And then, of course, the wings are articulated. And they are on ball pegs. But I believe it's a barbell type joint. So you can get some pretty good movement out of the wings so you can get Rodan's wings to only go up about that much but they do come in really well as you can see right there and you could move them all around so you want to put them up like that you could do something like that which is awesome so you, you can move the wings in some pretty cool types of poses and they do swivel as well which is something the NECA one did not do and all his joints are nice and tight unlike the NECA one that had some very loose uh, wing joints there. This one, they're really tight and I don't feel like they're going to get loose at all. So you get some really nice wing articulation with Rodan here. Just overall, he has some really good articulation for being the type of creature that he is. I think I think Tomashinesians did work in, in the articulation really well on Rodan there. God damn it, Rodan, stay on your damn stand. But Overall, the articulation on both these figures, not so good on Mothra, and plus, like I said a few times already, you have the stuck leg joints, but on Rodan, you get some fantastic movement, man. You can get him in some pretty damn cool Rodan-like poses, and I'm about to show you some of the poses you can get them into right about now. But anyway, that is my review of the SH Figure Arts Godzilla, King of the Monsters, Mothra, and Rodan 2-pack. Hope you enjoyed it. If I had to rate these figures with detail for both of them, I'd give them an even 9. Articulation, Rodan, I'd give an even 9. And then Mothra, I'd give a 6. And then I won't rate accessories since they pretty much didn't have any. But the overall quality for both the figures, Rodan, I'd give a 9, Mothra, I'd give an even 7. If you would like to know the price and where to buy these figures, I did get mine from Ageless Geeks, so you can head over to their website at agelessgeeks.com. If you can't find something on their website, I do highly recommend going through their Instagram or Facebook page. I will put more information in the description below. And if you would like to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell. And if you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, oh well, I guess you didn't like it. But thanks for watching. I will see you later.
Yoshi Nation's SH Monster Arts Mothra for this two pack here. So, on the front of the box, we do get two by the way, Rodan figures as SH Monster Arts Mothra, 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 and Rodan. I like how it's split in half right there, then it does say SH Monster Arts. So, damn it, I did it again. Damn it. So, we do get this pretty cool collector friendly, but blah. blah, blah. <laughs> And the bottom here says SH Monster Arts, Martha, uh, Martha and Rodan 2019, Tamashii Nations. Damn it. Skipped the Tamashii Nations quality sticker. This one I feel like is more when Mothra first, Mothra <laughs> first, then we will go over Rodanians. Damn you, Rodan. Damn you to hell. He fell <laughs> off the table. <laughs> oh, well. 